Canyon of Blood. Okay, it's time to continue with Scythe 2 and check it out. We start where we left off. Pretty cool, I think it's a thing throughout the entire Waste chapter. That, you know, each map looks like it sort of ends and begins in each other. Pretty cool. Hey fellas. So anyway, yeah. The Waste chapter now, we're sort of out of the gimmick maps, you know, the secret maps and Mr. X. And we're up to, well back to, I guess I should say, just sort of more regular stuff. Some good old-fashioned Eric Arm magic. And, uh, it's been a while since I've played just some, you know, like, ordinary, honest-to-god meat and potatoes doom on this channel. You know, it's been either Sunlust or, um, crazy gimmicky side 2 maps. Oh, holy crap, I'm nearly dead. I was really not paying attention to my health there. I may actually die. Because I'm just so focused on how to describe this kind of map that it nearly bloody killed me. It's uh, not that easy, I guess. <laughs> Look at what I'm resorting to here. There's some med kits down there, but I have to make it through a bunch of hit scanners, so... I'm just doing the ultimate peekaboo. Did, was that the perfect amount of shells to kill everybody? Oh my god, wow. Well, riveting gameplay. Oh, there was one medkit, in fact. I grabbed the other during all that nonsense. Hey, you. Well, it's fine. Like I'm saying, this map ain't that bad. Of course, it's still coming. Holy crap. There we go. Okay, the Canyon of Blood, yeah, so it's, well, pretty much what it sounds like. It's a big open map where you can see most of it from the rest of it. This giant canyon, but with like a, a facility uh, built into it. And we just gotta make our way to the end. Oh yeah, and there's a lot of this. A lot of single mancubus action. And lots of crowds of imps too. Uh, the combat is kind of just constantly incidental, but Eric Arm does have a kind of way of, um, okay, this is scary, but this is what I usually do. I usually have more health than this, though. Come on, infight the Baron, please. Go on, Baron, you got this, you got this. Okay, maybe you don't, maybe you don't got this. Oh, he's, he's, he's fighting two of them? Alright, so just you and me. No, he's only fighting one. Oh, there's still two more. Yeah, kill them too. Perfect, okay, that'll do. Get him to take out a couple for me. And the main reason I do this actually is not because I'm scared of the revenants so much, but the Baron has a thousand health. Perfect, and so I only have to use two shells to kill him. Because the revenants did a bunch of the work for me. Ah, uh, yeah. Eric Arms, you know combat design in these maps where he's trying to be easy. He's trying, obviously, to hold back and make a relatively easy map. And so he just throws smattering of, you know, like a small crowd of dudes at you. Or like, you know, say, one Mancubus, one Pain Elemental, like that. And, uh, something about the way he designs it, I find it hard to describe, but it is... Oh god, what the hell? The imps hit me. I just wanted to make it up the stairs without that guy. Oh yes. Health. Thank God. Because uh, once again, we're going to get the Baron into some trouble. Uh, yeah, I keep getting distracted from my point. Eric Arm's incidental combat is just... He somehow does have a way of, like, designing a small smattering of dudes that is satisfying. Or maybe I'm giving him too much credit here. I mean, I, I think I maybe do glaze him a bit too hard most of the time, but, um, it's just Doom being a fundamentally very fun game to play with good enemy design, so, you know, you can throw a smattering of any monsters at the player, and it'll be fun. Hey, time to get the Dream Team to infight, just like that, uh, and I'll just kill the Kakadims with this, I guess. Try and save a few shells. Okay, you're done. 
I'd normally do a bit more punching in this map, but uh, I don't trust myself. I've uh, lost a lot of health by uh, distracting myself with my own commentary. Guess I'm not quite feeling up to multitasking right now. Well, normally I'd go back and punch this guy. Let's, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Against my better judgment, let's... Yes, all right. Well, it, it helps when you get two really high damage rolls from your Berserk Punch. Um, now there's going to be... Yeah, but... Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> I meant to just walk straight back out the door, all casual-like. And, well, that did not happen. As you well saw. There's not really much point trying to get that Hell Knight and that Mancubus to infight. It's uh, pretty difficult to do. And I tried to back up through the door and uh, my ass got lost. That's a very keyboard player thing to do because turning around is pretty slow as you can see and so you don't always have time to do it. So just try and remember where the map geometry is like a mental map in your own head you know like picturing this in your own head and uh, sometimes I do an okay job sometimes I don't clearly I'm just not playing my best at the moment like at all and in my defense it is fairly late at night so that would be why I would have thought but look at this I've got oh that's right yeah I think it has to be done right it has to Okay. Now look at all this ammo and look at my health. We're, we're back. We're so back. Excuse me. Well, that guy, get the hell out of here. You, I will super shotgun. Because there is, okay, I don't know if you can see it. See up there, there's that enormous 3D bridge. That essentially acts as monster blocking line deaths. In fact, maybe it is literally monster blocking line deaths put there because... Otherwise, the bridge might not work. Or to stop the funny thing where, like, corpses pop up. You know, 3D bridges, you can have corpses. Like, monsters can walk through them if you allow them to. But, whoa. Man, how did I not take splash damage off that guy? I felt like he was pretty close. Did not know he was there. Oh, yeah, you can allow monsters to walk, you know, use 3D bridges if you want. But then you'll have this funny thing where, like, sometimes... Their corpses sort of betray how a 3D bridge actually works with the very fast pop-up mechanism. You know, these corpses flying all over the place, up and down. Okay, uh, I, I'm not going to come back here, so I'll use the med kit for that, to do that. And now, time for this kind of fight. There are revenants, yep, yeah, look at that. There, across the uh, the 3D bridge, and they can try and take pot shots at you, and they sometimes will. So you're in the middle of fighting a cyber demon, and suddenly you just cop a revenant rocket. Very cute. Come on, mate, just die. There we go. Just like this. Whoa. Oh, did you see that? I swear that must have... See how that projectile just disappeared? That has to be because of the 3D bridge shenanigans. As I was walking across the bridge... Um... Something happened. <laughs> that threw off Doom's engine. And the projectile went bye-bye. Oh yeah, I'm not really uh, narrating exactly the progression of this map or exactly what I'm doing as much as I normally would. Because, well, it's all pretty straightforward, like I said. Here we go, another group of imps. Another lone baron. We've seen just a few lone mancubi, like I was saying. It's all just, uh, pretty incidental. But the design of the map itself, like the visuals and the flow, I think that's what Eric Arm does. He throws the same sort of smattering of dudes at you as always, but his uh, map flow is excellent. You really do get pulled forwards in a very compelling way, just by the design of the map. The pacing, you know. Here's this type of dude, and then here's this type of dude, and now here's this type of dude. 
very well paced. Very satisfying, you know, like... After... What the hell am I doing? Oh, I walk back into that. Um, after, you know, having to super shotgun a Baron, or well, you don't have to, but, you know... It's something that people are probably pretty likely to do. Have a big slaughter fight now to sort of, you know, cleanse the palate after the relatively more tedious combat you just did. But because it's only map 17, you know, it's not a particularly hard slaughter fight at all. Look, I have 600 cells that I simply just don't really need to use. Although I think I'll use a bit of them, if not all these dudes die to the rockets. Which is possible. Very possible. Alright. Look at me using the plasma rifle. Get out of here. One kill left. And of course... And of course, oh, we painted the last second. And well, that's it. And need of blood. Yeah, I mean, uh, I quite enjoy maps like this. I'm a big sucker for just, you know, like mindless kills, uh, one enemy at a time style doom. Incidental combat doesn't really uh, bother me. Uh, but there's no denying that this is a pretty straightforward map, let's just say. You know, very, very well, like, competently designed, but nothing special either. But, you know, it's a side two map, and I gotta play it, so. There we go, map 17, done. I uh, hope you're having a good day, and I'll see you in the next one, and until then, peace out.